Hey everyone, Ben here. Breaking news. A genomic stock in ARK's genomics fund has just crashed massively by over 50%. So the real question is, why has this stock just crashed? And could this be a buying opportunity for you guys? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. But before we dive right in, if you're new around here, why not consider joining the investing community by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do find value in this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. The stock research platform I'm going to be using in this video is called Stock Card. You can check that out in the link below. And with that being said, let's dive in. So firstly, let's level set. What is genomics? Well, genomics is one of the most exciting areas of biotechnology. Now we can map the entire human genome. We can actually change and alter people's genes using techniques such as CRISPR in order to solve genetic conditions and illnesses. In the future, when you go to your doctor, the idea is that he'll have your whole genetic code there and he can refer to that when diagnosing and treating your illnesses. But the real people this is going to help are the people with genetic disorders and illnesses such as hereditary blindness. So this is a really exciting area and it really is one which is changing the world. Now ARK has an investment ETF which specializes in this area called the ARK Genomics ETF. Um, if you're in the UK, you can actually invest in that now on eToro. I'll leave a link for eToro in the description below. Now one stock which is in that ETF has just crashed massively by over 50%. So this stock here is called Sarepta Therapeutics, ticker symbol SRP. So the real question is, what has caused this massive decline by nearly 53% in a single day? Well, this stock has lost half its value after a study the company did produced disappointing results. So this disease is called Duchenne muscular dystrophy or DMD, and it's a genetic disease that causes muscle weakness and wasting in children. So children born with DMT have a fault on their gene. So this is a terrible thing. Imagine you, a member of your family, or even yourself had a child and they were born with this DMD disease. This would cause them to live a life with their muscles wasting away and the majority of those children who've been dealt a bad hand actually die in their late teens and early 20s. And as Elon Musk once said in a quote, for me, it's not about money. It's about solving problems for the future of humanity. This definitely seems like one of those problems. So this company is very honorable to be working in this area. So this disease affects over 200,000 people per year or every one in 5,000 people. So there is a chance that you could actually bump into someone who've actually had this disorder. Now, the real reason that the stock crashed by over 50% was due to their study producing disappointing results. So the study failed to show benefits compared with a placebo, and that's a real issue for this company. Now, just to clarify everything with you guys, I'm not an expert in biotechnology. It is a very complex space. I believe it's even a complex space for the people working in the actual space. So it's a very complex space. It's even more difficult to categorize and identify and value the great investments in this space because most of them tend to have a ridiculously high valuation. And basically you're investing into a company with the potential to solve these major issues. Because if these companies can solve these major issues, then yes, the company will be extremely valuable. But if it can't, if it has poor studies and poor results, and it can't actually solve these immensely complex genetic issues, then the stock will plummet. And this is what we've seen right now. We've seen this 50% decline because one of those studies has not produced exceptional results. So the real question is, has the stock market overreacted? And could this be a potential buying opportunity? Well, let's dive into the fundamentals of this business and we'll have a little look deeper. So here we are on the stock card for Sarepta Therapeutics. And, and as you can see, looking at the company's industry, healthcare industry growing at 8.9% per year. We have the biotechnology industry growing at 7.4% per year. So there's definitely growth in this industry and major growth. So they've also seen fantastic sales growth with their year over year growth at 45% compared to the previous quarter. Now that is incredibly high. Generally, I say a growth stock is one which is growing at least 15 to 20% per year. This is growing at 45%. So that means it's an immense growth stock. And over the past few years, this company's revenue has grown by over 312%. However, the company is unprofitable. It does have negative earnings per share. These are the type of companies which are constantly burning cash on research, on development, on studying these diseases and trying to solve these major diseases. Because if they can solve it, it can be an absolute goldmine for the company. But in the short term, these type of stocks can be incredibly risky and incredibly volatile for investors. 
So the good news is this company does have a really strong balance sheet. We can see their current ratio is a 5.55. So a current ratio is basically your short-term assets compared to your short-term liabilities. And basically this means the company has enough cash on hand to cover those debts due within the next 12 months. Generally, I look for a current ratio of between 1.5 and 2. This has a current ratio of 5.55. That's fantastic. And although the company is unprofitable, it does have free cash flow of $44 million, and that's positive. So now the real question you're going to ask me is, Ben, is this stock undervalued with this 50% decline? And it's a bit of a mixed bag. So it's a better valuation than it previously was, but it's still not an incredibly low valuation at these levels. So the price sales ratio for this company is around 12. So you're currently paying 12 times the company's sales at this level but the genomics industry is notorious for its high valuations. However, I still think this could be a potential opportunity if you want to open up an individual stock in the biotechnology space. For me personally, if I was going to invest, it would be a speculative position. If you guys want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying and selling, check out the link in the description below for the VIP membership group. You can also access my entire investment portfolio. Now, I'm also going to dive into some thoughts by some analysts recently, and they seem quite bullish on this stock despite the decline. So we have Barclays analyst Jenna Wang noted that, well, a disappointment, the drug is likely to remain active in Sarepta's pipeline and eventually hit the market, albeit with a more modest benefit. Her team cut their price target to $125 from $192. RBC analyst Brian Abrahams said that, well, the primary endpoint miss was clearly a disappointment and adds risk to the company's longer-term development and said real signs of activity in the future could mean the company still has a path going forward. RBC cut their price target to $143 per share from $200 per share. And diving into the share price right now, it's at $82 per share, so it's well under these analyst price targets for the stock. And there's also another reason why this could be a potential opportunity. So although it's a small stock in ARK Invest platform, they've decided to increase their stake in the company. So diving into the latest trades here from ARK Invest, hot off the press of these trades. As you can see here, if I scroll down, you can see for the ARK Invest Genomics Fund, ARK has purchased Seraputa Therapeutics. They've purchased 843,000 shares which make up 0.78% of their portfolio. So in summary, genomics is an exciting area with major tailwinds behind this industry, and this stock's 50% decline could be a potential buying opportunity. However, biotechnology genomics is extremely speculative, extremely risky, because the area is just so complicated, it's difficult to see and difficult to understand exactly how these companies make money, and that makes it a risk for you as investors. So we just assess both those sides of the argument and make your decisions from there. But if you guys found some value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you're new around here and you still haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and join the investing family. And if you want to know exactly when I'm buying, when I'm selling stocks and access my entire investment portfolio and know which stocks I'm actually buying, then check out the VIP membership group in the description below. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.